Hey, hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of Geo Guesser. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location. A cool spot. My god, it's like a gated community on an island behind water. That seems pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, it looks cool to me. It's called Boulevard Island, apparently. Not a very creative name, I'll tell you that much. Uh, so we got stuff that's for sale. We got a big old pickup truck type thing. And... This is private property, I know, but as to where this is, I, I really have no idea. I don't think we are in North America. If I had to guess, I would guess that we would either be in... Boy, I don't know. Aust no, I don't know about Australia. I don't think that's the case. Is it the case? Maybe. Uh, I don't know if I think that's where we are. South Africa, maybe. Maybe this is South Africa. I think there's a chance that this is South Africa. Is that what I'm going to guess? Really? Hmm, I don't know. Something seems like I probably shouldn't guess South Africa. But I kind of want to. I kind of think that this is South Africa. Shall I guess it? I mean, I guess so. I might as well. Uh, Port Elizabeth. That sounds like it could be something like that. And let's go like, right around, right around here. Make the guess, and the answer was Australia. It was uh, Perth. It was just, it was in Perth. Ah, okay. Uh, there you go. That that looks about right. Boulevard, uh, Bouvard, not Boulevard. I, don't know, I misread, but uh, Bouvard Island. Yeah, all right. That makes a lot of sense. 80, uh, 834. Hopefully, some of you guys figured that one out. All right. Here we are in today's daily challenge location in a bunch of mountains. Well, we got a path over here. I guess we are walking biking hiking probably hiking uh down a path like this check out the mountains or the canyon or whatever you would call this area the valley yeah i think valley is probably the right word look at it it's beautiful got a little bit of a river snaking down uh over here nice path nice hills great stuff to see and of course this is today's daily challenge which means it is up to you guys to tell me where in the world you think we are all you need to do is put your guesses down in the comment section below tell me where in the world you think this is and in tomorrow's video's comment section i announce the winner the person that guesses closest now there are no prizes but there is glory to be won so if you are interested in becoming the day's top geo guesser then tell me where in the world do you think we are right now all right here we are in the main section of today's video and today we've got a viewer challenge of your challenge brought to us by none other than our good friend matthias ampasan thank you so much matthias ampasan for this one this is of course that challenge the challenge we all know and love the challenge by the challenge me the theme we all know and love the places i have been and again I don't know why I always say this, but it's not me specifically. In fact, it's the places Matthias Ampasan has been. So we get to watch this and uh, feel maybe jealous of uh, the cool places that they've been. Maybe uh, give us some awesome uh, vacation trip ideas. Maybe you can think, hey, I've been there too. There you go. We're like best friends now. There you go. Well, thank you so much for sending and creating this challenge. If you are interested in creating your own custom challenge, all you need to do is look down in the old description below. You'll find a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own custom challenge and how to send it to me. Also, you can find a link to this one so you can play along yourself. Where are we now? Well, we are in some country, although where are we? Um, somewhere in... Okay. Van Gogh lived in this house um, on uh, July 29th, uh, 1890. Uh, that's interesting. Vincent Van Gogh lived in this house maybe until... I, I can't really read that last word. Um, I don't know. I don't know what this last word is. I, I can't think of what... Well, it doesn't really matter. Anyways, Vincent, Vincent van Gogh. I don't think that's going to be France, then. Vincent van Gogh, isn't he... I thought he was Dutch. Are we in the Netherlands? I don't know if we're going to be in the Netherlands. It's a bit of a hard one to figure out. I think we could, but looking at this, I don't really think we are uh, in the Netherlands. I would say we are in a country where French is a primary language... Uh, so I, I think maybe we're going to be in Belgium. 
maybe that's a good guess or just plain old France you know I gotta be honest I don't know where Vincent van Gogh lived his life spend a lot of time in France possibly Vincent van Gogh that's that dude that uh, did that really famous self-portrait and painted starry night right is it called starry night Oh, well, there's a park of uh, Vincent Van Gogh. I, I believe, I believe, I, I know who Van Gogh is. I think, I think I, I've got the the right uh, painter in mind. Um, and uh, and yeah, actually, you know what? I I, I quite like I quite like uh, his, his painting style. I think it's uh, I think it's a, I think it's pretty sweet. So uh, there you go. Now the real question of where are we? We don't know. Oh my God, someone's sleeping right over here. Right near the train tracks. I think we're definitely in France looking at this. Is Van Gogh French? I really thought he was Dutch. Maybe I'm thinking of Vermeer. Maybe I'm thinking of Vermeer. I really don't know. But we're going to pretend that uh, I that, that we are assuming that he, is, uh, that, that he is Dutch. Now, it's 1890. How easy was travel? Travel was pretty easy in 1890. I mean... There weren't really cars, so that makes things a bit more complicated. But there was definitely, you know, people still moved around quite a bit. They travel by horse, I'm assuming. Right? Cars, yeah, there definitely wasn't any kind of cars or motorized to anything, really. So you had to travel by horse uh, or boat. Assuming he is Dutch, I'm, I'm going to just guess that, you know, maybe he didn't get much further than Paris. I mean, you know, you're going to stay in the same kind of area, maybe stay around this area, I don't know. So what about this city over here? Amiens, although it's obviously not pronounced uh, like that at all. Um, I don't know, maybe that's, a, maybe that's a good guess. It seems pretty big, though. There's no way that I'm going to see, you know, exactly where we are, considering, look at these D roads. They're in no particular order, and there's about a trillion of them. Although, A15 and A16 are that way. Here's the A16, A16 going all the way there and to Paris. So maybe we're over here in like uh, in like an outskirts of Paris type thing. Maybe in Pontoise. Let's make the guess. And the answer was yeah, kind of. We were uh, right over here. Well, that was pretty close. There you go. Figured it out. 2098. Well, although we still don't know where uh, where this guy's from. So. Right now we are in, you know, what I was, I, I looked at it and I thought we were in Canada. Looking at it now, I think we are in somewhere in the state of New York. Is that where we are? It's hard to tell. I forget where these licenses are. Blue and yellow, is that Pennsylvania? It's not, uh, is it Pennsylvania? I, I don't know. Is it uh, E Memorial Hall? It might be Pennsylvania. It's not New York. The old New York license plates used to be all blue. But we got a bunch of New York plates here. At least one, two. I thought the yeah the old New York plates were all blue. They didn't have the yellow. Was it blue on the top and yellow at the bottom? I thought it was blue and blue at the top, at the top and bottom. Oh God. Well, now I'm forgetting what the old New York plates looks used to look like. I like them a lot better than the yellow and black ones. Although at least I guess the yellow and black ones are pretty recognizable, right? So we live in a place, New Jersey is, like, they're all, it's all pale yellow. So we're going to be a state, I think it's Pennsylvania. That, that would make sense, right? Pennsylvania, where in Pennsylvania is this going to be? Well, you know, like, E Memorial, I'm thinking we're going to be somewhere in the greater Philadelphia area, if I had to, if I had to make a guess, um... Somewhere in the greater Philadelphia area feels like a good guess. Let's go check out this bus. I think that's going to tell us a little bit about... Oh, my God. Where the hell did the bus go? Uh, no. I swear we were right beside it. All right. So we're just going to go there. Come on. All right. Penpartners.org slash city. That feels like that's a good clue. SEPTA. I don't know if that's the name of the bus transport. PennPartners.org. Philadelphia. All right. Well, we are in the greater Philadelphia area where I don't think we're going to be on this side of the old river. I'm going to say somewhere like around this area over here. 
So let's just click right down there, make the guess, and the answer was, yeah, we were in, in West Philadelphia, right over here in West Philadelphia. My God, please touch museum. Okay, will do if I ever go there. 6276, very nice. Oh, kind of the right idea, right area of Philadelphia, right over here past, uh, past the river. Looks pretty good. All right, where else did we go here? Closter Eck. I gotta be honest, and I, I don't have really an idea where we are. Wow. I don't really know how to make. I. Huh. Interesting. From what I can guess, I'm guessing we are in. I, I don't really know, actually, where we are. Actually, I think this is Belgium. Yeah, yeah, this is Belgium. The license plates give it away. The other stuff, I mean, this is French. I don't know what this word is. And I can't really make heads or tails of this. And then there's two U's over here, which is a bit strange. But, and there's two A's over there, which makes me feel like, where are we, Finland? Estonia, but I don't think that's true. Maybe that's um, maybe that language is it, what? What is it called? Is it called Flemish? Flemish is that that the name of the language? I believe it is. That's what they speak in uh, this sort of area up top in Belgium, right? And Antwerp and stuff. Is Flemish the name of the language? Is it just Dutch? <laughs> I, I feel like it is just Dutch. It might not be though. You know, if it's not Dutch, you know, there's got to be a reason for it to have a different name. It also might not be Flemish. So, you know, there you go. Uh, but clearly, I'm guessing that, uh, you know, we got a good mix here. Belgium seems to be pretty darn right. I'm going to guess that we are going to be in... I don't think we're going to guess Antwerp here. I think we could guess Antwerp if we were trying to be a little bit clever. But I think I'm going to go with Brussels on this one. Yeah. All right. I feel like that's probably a good guess based on uh, this sign right over here. So let's go and say doo -doo 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 right around here. Making the guess, the answer was, wow, as far as guesses go, that was pretty damn close. 64, 66. All right, where have we been today? Biomarket. Biomarket. Canal, hop on, hop off. Ticket shop and a canal cruise. <laughs> it's a canal, I know. All right, so what kind of canals are we going to be visiting today? Well, hop on, hop off. We got yellow license plates, which could mean plenty of things. But one of the things it can mean is the Netherlands. Uh, museum... Museen Plein. I feel like in the countries that I know that'll be doing the yellow license plate thing, the Netherlands, France, and England, I feel like you would never see a sign that said Museen Plein in France or England. And also, you know, there's the canals. Also, there is a Dutch flag flying up here. So I think we've got a pretty good idea as to where we are. Also, a lot of bicycles, and they are these uh, Dutch-style bicycles where, um, you know, where, where, where it goes down here and there's like a big area. I mean, I don't know if these are, are bicycles specifically only for ladies or if they're just the most common type of bicycles. You know, anyone can ride them. I forgot who it was uh, that told me the, the, the reason as to why they were like that. You know, so you could ride a bike in a dress. And to be honest, that, that, that makes a lot of sense. I don't know how much I'd want to ride a bike in a dress. I mean, geez, you got to use elastics to tape my pant leg closer to my leg when I ride a regular bike so the chain doesn't eat it all up. But, um, oh, I'm pretty sure they, they probably have chain guards on all the bikes in, uh, in the Netherlands anyways, or at least I'm pretty sure chain guards are a lot more popular, because let me tell you, using an elastic to sort of tie your pant leg so uh, your, your pant leg doesn't get all screwed up by your bike is, is not, you know, the perfect situation, but it's totally a fine one. Now we got to figure out what city we're in. There's canals in pretty much every major city in 
in the Netherlands. So maybe, maybe actually, maybe this big subway thing can tell us where we are. GVB. GVB. G stands for, I don't know. GVB doesn't really give me any sort of any sort of clues as to where we actually are because I can't figure out which one of those is going to be the city. Um Amstel Park. Amstel Park. That has some similar letters to Amsterdam, which is of course a city, but is are are those the important letters? Nobody knows. Someone. A ring A10. That feels like that's something that's going to tell me something. All right. Ring A10. Well, we are in Amsterdam. That's good. And we got the S100 and S106. So, I'm guessing S106 is over here. And there's the S100. So, we're going to say we were right around here making the guess. And the answer was pretty much we were there a little bit further away. But that's okay. 6428. Very nice. A sex shop. Are we still in Amsterdam? Actually, no. Looking at it now, I feel like we're in Italy without having seen much. But that might not be true. Bar lipstick. Well, there you go. It's like that one time. Who was it that uh, put us near all the sex shops the one time? Fox Club Atlanta. All right. Something about Atlanta over there. Well, let's take a look as to where we are. Metal guitar. Well, that seems good. Bio C Bon. Where is this city? What language do we even see? Um. Well, I guess we're in France, which seems to make sense, and we're probably in Paris. If uh, if I had to make a guess, I would say Paris is is pretty likely uh, as to where we are going to be. I mean, really, that, oh yeah, that first place, you actually went there. I kind of forgot that when we were in the first place, right? That was that, like, uh, Vincent van Gogh place. Huh, that's pretty cool. You went there? I mean, I guess you were in Paris, so, you know, they give you a place to go. Um, go check that out. You a big fan of art? I, did, I guess so. Yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome, actually. And it's sort of out of the way enough for it to be made interesting. Or maybe you uh, were, were over here in this area checking out all the sex shops. Right? That's a thing tourists do. They go check out the sex shops. I mean, I guess so. I mean, they, there you go. Big sex shops area. I was thinking if you were a tourist in city that I live in, you'd be pretty out of luck. In fact, I don't think there's a single... There's... I, is there even... A sex shop in the entire downtown area? Not that I can think of. Uh, I can think of one. It's pretty out of the way for if you're a tourist. You would never go there. And I think there's plenty of them probably around the city, but none really downtown. That's for even like a strip club. I'm pretty sure there's only one. Is there two? There might be two. There might be two strip clubs downtown. I'll be honest. I haven't actually been to any of them. Um, I haven't been to any of them. The last time I went to a strip club was the year that I was 18, and uh, me and my friends had all turned 18, and we decided it was a good idea to go to a strip club on, like, a Tuesday at 11 a.m., and let me tell you, after that, we decided, hey, you know what, let's never do this again, and I haven't been since, so, well, I haven't been to, to any other strip club since, because, uh, yeah, you know, if I, I'm going to say, if you're going to, you know, go to a strip club, you know, whether or not that seems interesting to you or not, you, you should probably, you know, be a seasoned veteran before you choose to go uh, to Tuesday at uh, 11 a.m. Because, my God, jeez, let me tell you, that's a rough one. All right, uh, we're in Paris. Um, let's say, uh, where's the 16th arrangement? Because arrangement? that's where we were, right? 15th is down here. Uh, let's go 15th then. The answer was the 9th arrangement. I thought you were in 16th. I thought I saw signs for it. Well, it's here anyways, so I didn't guess the right place. But wait, whatever. 60, 39. Oh, and there you go. 31,307. My God. Figured all of those out. Started off right over here uh, near Paris. 
That was probably my best guess because that was actually a tough one to guess. Then we went to Philadelphia. That was a pretty good guess too, actually. Figured out it was Philadelphia before uh, we saw some clear signs. In fact, on all of them, I pretty much had figured it out before the signs were super clear. So, yeah, I'd say I did pretty good on that round. 31, 307, that's like only 100 and some away from the maximum score. So that's also pretty sweet. Anyways, a uh, 100 and some, a 1,000 or something away from the maximum score. Anyways, I'm going to say that I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I know I certainly have. And as always, uh, I will see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh, yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Ooh, yeah. Have a good one.